We've all seen it on the covers of magazines and the footage of nature documentaries. Stunning images of the landscapes from which Iceland takes its name. But these glaciers are more fragile than they may seem. And they have a story fit for a storyteller. There was an immense crack. The ensuing earthquake was greater than any experienced since man first walked the planet. My name is Andre Magnusson. I'm a writer. I live in Iceland. I have written children's books, poetry, plays, science fiction and non-fiction. Andre. <laughs> Welcome. Hi, I'm Kat. Welcome. So I slightly interrupted you. Can I help you hang these up? Yeah, please help me. <laughs> so I'm kind of choosing what photos oh, I would like one. to use in my book. I'll pop this one up here. Andre, how does looking at these photos make you feel? Well, they've always made me feel, uh, you know, nostalgic, proud. But they're also a, a slice section of time. That is, this is the first generation that was able to enjoy glaciers. Mm -hmm. And we only have three generations that will live that period. So then the glaciers will go. And after 300 years, these photos will be totally alien to that generation, especially in Iceland, when the ice has left, left Iceland. When the ice has left Iceland. Yeah. Andre wanted to take me somewhere to show me just how quickly the landscape is changing. About 10% of Iceland is covered in glaciers, but glaciologists now believe that all of Iceland's glaciers will be gone in just 200 years. We meet a guide to help navigate us on a long walk high up into the clouds. Where we're standing right now? Now we're standing by this memorial plaque that is where Oak Glacier used to stand. So 50 meters above us mm -hmm. should have been an ice sheet that was here 30 years ago, but has now completely vanished and we only have like these remains of dead ice around us. Five years ago, when Oak Glacier was no longer heavy enough to lift itself up and move, it was declared dead. The amount of ice here has decreased dramatically. Researchers from Rice University in America recently drew attention to the loss. They approached Andre to write the inscription for the plaque commemorating the dead glacier. Will you read me what you wrote? Yes. So here it says, a letter to the future. Oak is the first Icelandic glacier to lose its status as a glacier. In the next 200 years, all our glaciers are expected to follow the same path. This monument is to acknowledge that we know what is happening and what needs to be done. Only you know if we did it. August 2019, 415 parts per million of CO2. It's a stark reminder that unless something changes soon, Seeing and experiencing Iceland's iconic glaciers is a privilege that few further generations will have the chance to enjoy.